Greetings and welcome to today's meditation. This is Master Sio coming to you from the Ahaya Center for Spiritual Living in Pasadena, California. Thank you for joining us. Today uh, we will be blessed with inspirations about various areas of our daily lives. First, here is a small gem of an inspiration from a recent experience that I had just a few days ago. Today I want to talk about the power of love in helping someone to heal. Just a couple of days ago, I spoke with a 17-year-old girl who had a life-saving operation on her brain by brilliant surgeons, and it really helped her. This is uh, science at work. Uh, however, since that time, about 10 years now, she has been unable to talk or show any signs of cognition, recognizing her parents or other people, and she has been struggling to you know, recover. Was in contact with her, and it, it, it was such a, a thrilling experience for me, I'm sure for the young lady, and uh, her parents. I spoke with her by uh, video. She lives thousands of miles away and she responded rather better than I had imagined. Up until then, uh, her parents told me that she hardly recognized anyone. Her eyes were just kind of uh, uh, staring vacantly into the air, made no sounds, audible sounds at all. And the prognostication was that she would be paralyzed for life and not able to move at all. I want to state that I'm very happy with uh, work that our physicians can do for us and I definitely am not a doctor and I would suggest that for all major issues with your health that you consult your doctor. The kind of work I do is purely supportive, it is spiritual in nature and it can be useful sometimes but in any event we will continue with the story. So the parents were to the side by the side of the girl when we were doing our video uh, talk. And from the very beginning, the young lady opened her eyes wide and was looking side to side, which the parents said was unusual. And you could tell that she was listening to the sound of my voice. Uh, after a few minutes, she sort of became excited and started moving her arms like so and the parents were uh, uh, saying oh wow she's never done that before and then her feet started to uh, move around they swung the camera so that i could see her feet starting to flap from side to side like that and her toes started to move the whole time the, the father was at her side and I asked him to uh, put his uh, head next to his daughter's head and uh, just have them both try as much as possible to look directly into my eyes. As I was talking to her, I just talked to the girl and I told her that I loved her and that her parents loved her and would like to see her become more normal again. I found out that she 
used to love singing whenever they were driving, like 10 years ago before her brain operation. She used to like to sing to the radio. And so I said to her, I want you to gradually move as you desire to move towards normalcy so that we can enjoy hearing you sing again. And right then, I heard a loud sound. It sounded like a, a yell, like this, ah, oh! ah. Oh! And I was uh, quite shocked, actually. I uh, began to wonder uh, what's going on. At the time that this sound was made, the, their camera had kind of swung toward the wall or something. So I wasn't sure where that sound was coming from. And the mom said, oh, wow, she started to want to talk. And for seven years, she never made a sound. I knew that she was responding to uh, my talking to her. So I just told her that we all love her and thank you for making that sound. It appears to be evidence that she could hear us. Prior to this, the parents told me that she never uh, responded to any talking. She would just stare blankly into space and she never focused their eyes on anything. And she began to respond as though the cognition was there. And she was, you could tell that she was following what I was saying and the parents both crying while we were uh, chatting and I just told the girl that I love you very much and so do your parents and everyone that you know love you and miss you and would like to see you again when this pandemic is over <laughs> and then I said maybe we can all go dancing salsa <laughs> And at that point, the mom said, wow, her legs are moving. <laughs> so I wanted to share this tiny little gem of hope uh, with you that the power of love really works even in the worst of times. This is Master Sio. I love you and I would like for you enjoy your life. Your most powerful results will come from keeping your eyes open as much as you can and focusing directly on my eyes. If you decide to close your eyes or you might fall asleep and your eyes will close, you will still benefit from this powerful meditation just by hearing the messages that are being conveyed to you. Observation of your reactions will make this most powerful. Observing what you are feeling. Are you feeling relaxed or heavy or tingling or floating? Whatever the feelings that you experience or even lights or images, do acknowledge the sensations and the entire experience. The simple act of observation will deepen the benefits of your meditation. I have the right to choose in every area of my life to be happy or sad, abundant or lacking, loving or fearful, compassionate or uncaring. I choose only positive outcomes 
in my life. I tell my loved ones I love you all the time and they return my gesture. I am blessed with a beautiful family and friends. When I need help, it comes to me from various sources. My relationships with my friends, my family and others are strong and loving. I am loving, compassionate and forgiving. And I believe most people would want me as a friend. My family thinks of me as a source of love and inspiration. I encourage everyone especially my family, to dream big and to achieve them. My family appreciates my desire for them to have love and happiness in their own lives. Every day, I focus on positive outcomes and happiness. I am grateful for all good experiences and I learn from all challenges in my life. I am grateful for the simple things in my life, the woods, the fresh air, clear skies and the rain, and the sound of laughter with my friends and family. I am always grateful for what I have and for the blessings heading my way. And I avoid comparing myself to anyone else. I completely let go of the past and I stay in the joy of now. I have the right to choose in every area of my life, to be happy or sad, abundant or lacking, loving or fearful, compassionate or uncaring. I choose only positive outcomes in my life. I believe that love can solve all problems, big and small, 
we must give love a chance. I am being healed right now. I am good at forgiving myself and all others. Everything in my life is for my good. I wish the same goodness for others. I try to forgive and understand and to extend compassion to everyone. I tell my loved ones I love you all the time and they return my gesture. I am blessed with a beautiful family and friends. When I need help, it comes to me from various sources. My relationships with my friends, my family and others are strong and loving. I am loving, compassionate and forgiving. And I believe most people would want me as a friend. My family thinks of me as a source of love and inspiration. I encourage everyone especially my family, to dream big and to achieve them. My family appreciates my desire for them to have love and happiness in their own lives. Every day, I focus on positive outcomes and happiness. I am grateful for all good experiences and I learn from all challenges in my life. I am grateful for the simple things in my life, the woods, the fresh air, clear skies and the rain, and the sound of laughter with my friends and family. I tell my loved ones I love you all the time and they return my gesture. I am blessed with a beautiful family and friends. When I need help, it comes to me from various sources. My relationships with my friends, my family and others are strong and loving. 
I am loving, compassionate, and forgiving. And I believe most people would want me as a friend. My family thinks of me as a source of love and inspiration. I encourage everyone, especially my family, to dream big and to achieve them. My family appreciates my desire for them to have love and happiness in their own lives. Every day I focus on positive outcomes and happiness. I am grateful for all good experiences and I learn from all challenges in my life. I am grateful for the simple things in my life, the woods, the fresh air, clear skies and the rain, and the sound of laughter with my friends and family. I tell my loved ones, I love you all the time, and they return my gesture. I am blessed with a beautiful family and friends. When I need help, it comes to me from various sources. My relationships with my friends, my family and others are strong and loving. I am loving, compassionate and forgiving. And I believe most people would want me as a friend. My family thinks of me as a source of love and inspiration. I encourage everyone especially my family, to dream big and to achieve them. My family appreciates my desire for them to have love and happiness in their own lives. Every day, I focus on positive outcomes and happiness. I am grateful for all good experiences and I learn from all challenges in my life.
I am grateful for the simple things in my life, the woods, the fresh air, clear skies and the rain, and the sound of laughter with my friends and family. I tell my loved ones I love you all the time, and they return my gesture. I am blessed with a beautiful family and friends. When I need help, it comes to me from various sources. Please gently open your eyes. Please gently open your eyes. And you'll notice that the room appears to be much brighter. The lighting has not changed, but your spirit has been elevated to a much higher sense of optimism and hope for your life. I invite you to hang around for our celebration service led by our senior minister, the Reverend Scott Olson. This is Master Sio thanking you for joining us. So thank you, Master Sio. It's always wonderful, and especially in times like this week, where we have an opportunity to be at rest, to be at peace, to embrace the truth of who we are. And so thank you for leading us through that this morning. And uh, I'd like to ask the people who came to see Master CEO if they'd be willing to donate a few dollars, maybe $5, to Ahia. It would help us uh, to get the message of Master CEO and our own message out to the world more. And I think right now it's truly a message that's needed to be heard in the world more and more and more. So if you would, there's a few ways to donate showing up on the screen right now. Uh, you can donate on our website by going to ahaya.com slash donate, or you can text to give um, to the phone number showing there on the screen, or you can always mail us a check, and we love to get checks. So uh, if you want to mail that, just mail it to Ahia at 150 North El Molino Avenue, Pasadena, California, 91101. And we're going to be starting our so Sunday celebration in just a few minutes. Hope to see you there. <laughs> 